Hello everyone, it's Brent, and I just got done my phone interview. Honestly, I don't know what to think. Um, my interviewer was very down to business. Uh, every time I would finish an explanation, uh, she moved right on to the next question with uh, very little or no response to uh, what I had just said. Uh, in the beginning, uh, I was waiting for why the DCP, but she put a little twist on it, and so I was like, uh, kind of like threw me off balance a little bit. I was able to uh, get through it though. Um, but yeah, she was very um, uh, to the point. Um, I would uh, have questions such as uh, explain uh, your positions that you've had before. I would explain it in uh, what I thought was the Disney way. And she'd just be like, okay. Um, so then I heard and go on to another topic. And so it was stressful. Uh, I don't know what to feel except one point at the end because I asked if I could uh, have my preference for um, where I would like to work. And she said, of course. And then I said, I wanted to work in the Magic Kingdom. I feel it's the most uh, traditional of all the par parks, most true to Walt himself. And she said, oh, that's uh, funny because I actually put you down for the Magic Kingdom. And I was like, Yay! So, uh, so to give a rundown of what we went through. So first, she was saying, uh, "Hi, is this Brian?" And I said, "Yeah." And she's like, oh, "This is still good time for your phone interview." And I was like, "Yeah, of course, it's good time." And then um, she ran through um, like um, all the body modifications and personal info for college. Like, uh, you're going to school at UCF? I said, yeah, and um, then she's like, you have no tattoos? I was like, nope, no piercings, nope. Uh, and she said, you're uh, in compliance with um, the Disney uh, guidelines for uh, appearance? And I said, yes, I know about those guidelines. So after that, she went directly into um, work-related questions and scenarios. So, uh, she asked me about my different positions, I would explain them, and then she would give me a scenario in which would relate to the work I've done in that position in, for a position in Disney, and I would explain how I would handle that said position, and then she would move on to the next one. After that, she went on and she talked about um, the roles I signed up for, and she said, just to make sure we're on par, um, all the roles you mark down as interested in, you can perform those tasks. I said, yes, I can. And then she's like, um, are, and you are willing to perform all of these roles? And I said, yes. And so she uh, de delve into um, some of my high interest roles, all of them to be precise. And then she even uh, touched on some of my moderate roles too, including the ones that are high in demand, the one that was high in demand of food and beverage. Uh, so she touched on that and then um, asked me more scenario questions based on the positions I had, uh, like um, how would you handle a customer who did not want to get their picture taken? Or how would you handle a guest who um, was curious as why they could not meet Mickey at this time? And I would uh, give my answers. Um, and she would um, say yes. Oh, she also asked me if I had ever lived uh, with roommates. And I said yes. And then she's like, explain that, um, how that worked, and if you had any conflicts, um, go into them and uh, tell how, say how they were solved. And I said, yeah, I lived with three other guys. Um, two guys live in one half, two guys live in the other half. And um, I gave one of the scenarios uh, when we had a small issue, nothing big at all. It was just a trivial issue with like TV sound and uh, it was um, fixed just like that. And 
she was like, all right, and everything. And then she's like, do you have any questions? And so I asked her my questions and um, she was about volunteering, about um, imagineering uh, experiences I could possibly do. And um, if I could do my preferences. So she said yes to the volunteer. There's volunteering um, that you can do. There are um, Imagineering like seminars and experiences that you could probably uh, and and attend. And then um, she said, uh, "Yes, I can." Lift my preferences. I said Magic Kingdom. And yeah, so that phone interview took a total of 17 minutes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I guess. I don't know. Um, so. Yeah, that was my phone interview. I really don't know what much else to say, but, um, you have any questions? Leave them in the comments below. And hope you enjoyed just a little bit of interviewing Main Street Magic.